as you can see, you click this book, it opens up, you can walk in, and uh, I also... Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Waz, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build the bookshelf door V2. But before we get into that, I will be linking the person who actually showed this to me down in the pinned comment down below. Make sure to check out their YouTube channel. They upload a pretty cool videos, so make sure to check them out. So anyways, how this thing works is, as you can see, it looks like a pretty normal bookshelf. But if you go ahead and hover your mouse over this book right here, as you can see, you can click it. So we click that book. It splits in half and opens. Now, uh, if you don't remember, the bookshelf door before kind of just went off to the side it was cool but this is a bit more advanced and it just looks cooler so uh yeah i'm just just another option that you can build for this so yeah that's really all i have to say about this thing so without any further ado let's get straight into how to build it all right guys to build this thing we're gonna go ahead and want to start off by opening up your uh anchor block and you're gonna want to make sure that this is off now i'm pr if you have the screwdriver it really doesn't matter you can always just ignore me if you have the screwdriver but anyways what we're gonna do is we're gonna place down a rod just like this and then we're gonna put a piston on it facing whatever way the door is gonna be so the door is gonna be like in between this I'll sh you'll see in a minute here then you're gonna place another rod across from this rod about this far apart you want it to be decently far so that there's enough space for the door so once you do that you're gonna go ahead and set these both to five so you just click select all set the extend length to five or you could also just uh, you could also just hold shift and click them both and then set the extend length to five but make sure they're set to five so once you've done that you can go ahead and place Place another piston on these pistons uh, I recommend actually you know yeah go ahead and place a block on there first so that it doesn't get stuck so once you place your block you're gonna go ahead and place down these pistons here so these pistons you're gonna want to hold shift on these and uh, make sure you actually hold shift you can't do the select all with this you're gonna hold shift click these two pistons and set the extend length to about four you could do a little you could do it differently if you want but I recommend doing it to about four so now that you've done that go ahead and extend them all all the way out and this is where we're going to be building the door so to build the door uh, I recommend go ahead and uh, I'm gonna set my scale to one just for now so that they're both like symmetrical so we're gonna go ahead and scale in these uh, blocks just like this so that they uh, let me make sure I scale them the same so let's start this over here so we're gonna go one two three four five six and then one two three four five six and then kind of move closer like that so once you get about that close you're gonna go ahead and uh, set your scale to zero or in my case negative zero uh, I, I suppose it's kind of the same thing so We'll just, we'll just do that then. So then you're just going to want to make sure that these are barely, barely touching. I mean, well, actually, no, make sure they're not touching. Make sure they're almost touching, but not touching, because that's important. You don't want it to, like, stick to each other. So there you go. As you can see, we've got a little gap there. So once you have the gap, you're going to go ahead and extend these. Again, make sure it's not touching the ground, but it can be barely touching the ground. Just like that. There we go. And then go ahead and scale these up and make sure they just kind of match. Uh, this is gonna be how big your door is now. This is gonna be a pretty big one uh, I you could make it smaller. It just depends how close you put these together. This is gonna be a big one But uh, I guess that's fine So now what you're gonna want to do is once you have this I recommend uh, you can color it however you want I just like uh, Holding out my paint tool and then I steal the color from the from a rod and just colored that color because I think that's a pretty cool color. I mean, I probably should have done that after this next part. But anyways, for the next part, I'm going to go ahead and add a frame. Now, you really can make this bookshelf look like however you want. Uh, you could also do it how I'm doing it here. So uh, basically, I'm just going to be adding a frame real quick to uh, this. And make sure, as just make sure that uh, if you uh, are building it, make sure nothing touches both sides. So uh, here, I'll show you what I mean by that. So if you're building like the frame, make sure that you, ha you have to build two separate ones, one for each side. So that they aren't actually touching like this. It's pretty straightforward. Um, so let's go ahead and make sure that this is barely touching. There we go. I think that's good right there. So then we're going to go ahead and it's kind of sometimes it's a little annoying to get these perfectly like matched up. But it usually is pretty easy to do. So let's just go ahead and scale this back. There we go. And scale this all the way out. There we go. So, yeah, um, I'm actually going to make this frame on the side here, so let's just go ahead and do this. That just makes it easier to do. So, uh, yeah, that's an easy way to actually do this. And again, make sure it's not touching the ground. It can be almost touching the ground, but it cannot actually be touching the ground. Hold on. Let's get it just like that. There we go. 
so now we're gonna go ahead and make sure that these are of course like cement well they actually like look nice so we'll go ahead there we go like that so we're gonna do this on the other side as well uh, I don't know just I reckon sometimes you might just want to like scale this like all the way over here So you get the so you know what the right dimensions are so that everything's like symmetrical and whatever So yeah, let's just go ahead and make sure that these look pretty equal. So let's just go ahead and do this Let's see. I'll do it like this thick just like that. So there we go It's basic you just basically have to design your bookshelf however you want you don't have to do it how I'm doing it but this is just a good like base way to do it and by the way I did probably make this bookshelf a bit too like wide so uh, I, I highly recommend putting these a bit closer together because this one might be a bit wide it doesn't really matter you could make it as wide as you want but uh, yeah so anyways let's actually do a shelf part now so now that I'm seeing this it might actually be a little bit uh, I might have made it a little it, it might not like pop out as much as it should let's just extend all these parts out a bit here uh, hopefully this doesn't take too long to do this. There we go. Let's go ahead and do this to every part here Just so that there's enough room to like, actually put books on it. So there we go <clears throat> Just like that now you can also add like a bottom to it uh, I'll do that I guess because why not so let's just go ahead and add a little bottom real quick and again uh, Remember you cannot have them actually like on the same thing. So you got to go ahead and Make sure they're not touching. So let's just make sure they're not touching. There we go. Make sure they're equal. So yeah, it's it's basically this process. You can you can just continue building it like I am here, um, or you can build it differently, like I said. So there we go. Let's get the bottom, and then we can do this shelf again. Let's make sure we got this right. Yeah. So you really want this to not be super obvious. So the closer you put these together, the less obvious it is, and also. You just maybe just maybe not like make it super obvious you could also build the door out of really whatever you want You can use this. It doesn't necessarily have to be a bookshelf door that you use this mechanic with It's just I'm actually gonna be showing you how to build a bookshelf door because that's cool So yeah, let's just keep doing this and I will show you how to do the switch here soon Because I know you guys probably want me to show that because that's one of the most one of, That's one of the most important parts Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Uh, so yeah, there we go. We got the we got our shelf I'm only gonna do one layer so how you build your switch book is you're gonna go ahead and take a lever and you're just gonna place it like uh, This here hold on. Let's get it like that. So you're gonna place it like uh, actually you know what? no, you're gonna place it uh, Come on. Oh, I had it just like this. You're gonna place it like this uh, And this is actually how big a book should be so we, we have to extend these we have to extend these out a bit It looks like so let's just go ahead do this real quick. Uh, I should probably do these first so then I can I gotta extend it out a bit more again. It's just you kind of just gotta mess with it It's just part of building, but it's pretty fun to build this anyway, so let's just go ahead and do all of this extend this out a bit And we're almost done here. There we go Okay, so now how you build a book is you're gonna place down your lever like this and then you're gonna place plastic on each side Scale it about this much. Oh, and by the way, uh, yeah, yeah, you want to place plastic scale it into the sides so that it's like in the side like this make sure that the actual like dark part of the lever is invisible and you're gonna scale it back into the wall just like this come on there we go okay so yeah you're gonna scale it so that it's like covering this dark part like that and then you're gonna do this on all sides of the lever uh, it's just pretty simple and straightforward so let's just go ahead and do this uh, make sure it's not like going into that but yeah this is the issue you might want to make the shelf a little bit farther out uh, than mine as well because I did mine a little bit too uh, thin I guess so yeah let's just go ahead do this on each side so yeah once you have it on the edge again just scale it into the lever so you can't tell it's a lever and uh, you can also this is just so you can color it whatever color you want and it doesn't just look like a lever or you could just keep it like a lever it it kind of looks like a book as it just by itself but uh, I'm just gonna do this so here we go let's go ahead and scale this stuff down and one on this side as well and yeah and I'll also show you how to make one regular book I'm not gonna make mine too I'm not gonna make very many books I'm only gonna make one of each because I don't want this video to get too long here we're already at like the nine minute mark or something so somewhere around there so let's just go ahead and do this there we go make sure it all lines up and there we go we have ourselves our little secret book here so this is how you build the secret book and you can uh, color it however you want I'm just gonna make it like an orange color let's just uh, Come here and did this thing. There we go. Oh, I I did the wrong thing. Oh yeah. Speaking of that, let's just go ahead and color the rest of the bookshelf this dark color because this is a cool color to make a bookshelf. So yeah, uh, there we go. Now we have a, our hidden book just like this. You can see you can click it 
and uh, if you click it, it should actually open. So it looks like I accidentally built something anchored or touching the ground. Yep, it looks like this block right here is actually touching the ground. So let's make sure that that isn't to be fixed it. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, it does work like that. Now I'm gonna show you how to build a regular book real quick. So anyways, we're gonna build a little block like this and then we're just gonna surround it by other blocks. The uh, regular books are not even, are like way easier to build than the, uh, this, the hidden book, I guess. So yeah, we can just go ahead and do this. We're just gonna add blocks to each side. I'll color this inside one white so you can kind of see it. Bring this down a bit, bring these over a bit, and we'll make this a nice red book just like this. Let's see, there we go, red, and there we go. Oh, oh no, I don't want that to be red, hold on. <clears throat> Okay, so there we go. Now that's how you build one of those books. This is how you build one of these books. Uh, you can continue building these fake books all around. So yeah, uh, once you do that, you can also surround this by um, in like a wall by doing this. You just place a block on it, scale it out a bit, and then go up and then keep doing this process. It's pretty simple. You can just make a little wall around it like this. Again, just make sure nothing's touching it. And uh, yeah, the wall part is very simple it's really easy to do this part and then you can just go ahead and do this and then if you want you can just kind of scale these walls out there we go and there we go we have a bookshelf um this bookshelf's a bit long like i said but uh it doesn't really matter uh you can make it smaller if you want by putting these together so yeah as you can see you click this book it opens up you can walk in and uh i also recommend putting like a little switch somewhere in your secret room so you can like close it again oh uh it didn't bind to them all let's see I gotta make sure we bind it to all these uh, these pistons. If you add another switch, make sure you bind it to all these pistons. There we go, now it will work. So yeah, as you can see, you can just open it like this, walk inside, close it. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.